And we're back with another Road to Dark Matter video, the first one of 2021. So in our last one, our top comment was from Craggy. He said, I want to see you use the Milano. So here we go. We got the Milano. I already have it pre-leveled up. I was going through and leveling up all my guns. So we have basically every attachment that this gun needs. Um, our camos, we're done with spray. Uh, we're a few headshots away from getting stripes done, classics done, geometric. We got a long way to go. Flora, we had a decent chunk to do. Science, we're almost halfway. Psychedelic, we're basically done. So I don't know if we'll be able to get it gold this episode, but we're going to get a lot done for it. And we're going to be doing that in face off on hardcore. Oh, wait, I just clicked the normal one. And we'll be grinding that on some hardcore face off. I've actually been playing this mode a lot with my buddy, Sam. Uh, you guys might have seen him, Poonslayer69. He's been in a few videos. Uh, we've been playing this mode so much and it's been a lot of fun actually, if we get some good lobbies. There have been games where you get like cranked ELO lobbies, level like 500s, just do nothing but play the game and they're shitting on us, but this this should be fine. Neither of these maps are really good for long shots though. We'll pick, we'll do this one. At least we'll get a lot of kills on that. Oh, let me show you guys what I have for the class. We're using this optic, this barrel, this body attachment, this under barrel, and this magazine. And we got danger close, double stun, double tomahawk. We need to stun some people for the flora. Let's get it done. That's a headshot. Oh, and uh, just a few hours ago, we hit a giant milestone for this channel. We hit 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I mentioned it in the, in the, oh shit, get a fucking tomahawk, bitch. Oh, I was going to teabag him. But uh, we mentioned it in the last video where... Oh, did I just tomahawk him too? No, I shot him. I keep getting distracted. Okay. I mentioned that last year, at this time, I only had 62 subs. And I've, I've been making YouTube videos since like 2014. I've privated most of them, if not like all of them pre like 2018 because they just were not good videos. I'm not proud of them. But yeah, I've been, I've been making videos for a very long time. And it's cool to finally see that like it's it's going somewhere like I finally reached an audience like I'm making quality content you guys it's, I just really appreciate all the support you guys have given the channel it's absolutely amazing but I've also been getting some feedback that uh these road to dark matter videos are very similar to uh phase Jeff's who is an icon in the cod industry uh much love to phase Jeff he's literally like the biggest one of the biggest, if not the biggest, COD content creator out there. So much love to Jev. Uh, I will be switching up my titles so they're not as similar to his videos. Um, the thumbnails, I, I, I've seen some comments, people talk about the thumbnails. It's just a screenshot of the of the game. You know, the, the, the whole point of these videos is to have like a little filler in between uh, putting guides up. That way, like I can just sit and I can grind out these camos and talk to you guys and you can see me actually getting these challenges done live. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with just the screenshot thumbnails because they don't take very long. It was never my intention to copy Jev. Big fan of Jev. Watch a lot of Jev. You know, he, he's a much better camo grinder than I am. I'll, I'll make my videos more unique than that. More unique than I have been. But again, I, I, I really do appreciate all the support and all the feedback and... You know, it just, it just really helps to improve the quality of the videos and just the channel overall. I want to make the best content I can for you guys. You know, the best, the best guides, the best gameplay, like everything I can do. You know, I, I just want to do it as good as I can. So I really do appreciate all the feedback and we kind of got fucked up that game. Oh, 34 and 21. Not bad. Oh, we got some camos done. We got three of them done. One, two. Uh, did we get both the psychedelic done and a stripes? Kind of crazy. Stripes is done. Psychedelic is done. We need point blank. We need the flora, which is all that bullshit. And we need long shots. So hopefully we can get, there's a train map for face off that has a long shot spot. If we can get that. Oh, it's Yubon right here. Perfect. But honestly, if you guys are working, like trying to get camos done quick, these face off games, they're quick. You get into one pretty quickly. Unless there's not a lot of people playing. Uh, if you have like a friend or two, you can easily fill out a lobby. You will get sweatier lobbies because you're be cute against other people that are grouped. It's honestly really fun. Small maps, smaller than Nuketown. So you'll definitely see way more people. Uh, spawns aren't hard to figure out of. Peek that shit. You just gotta capture B. Uh, for, for those of you that don't grind very often or don't play COD as often, domination. You just need your spawn flag. Oh, that's a long shot. We can get long shots from B. We take those. But for people that don't play domination a lot, 
you just capture your spawn flag and B flag, and then they're stuck trying to get to you from their flag, which is very good. It's, it makes it very predictable of where people are going to come from. I'm going to say that and just get bopped from nowhere. And it just really helps you rack up a lot of kills. Just when you die, you got to be ready to fight your way back. Okay, I'm glad he's sitting there, honestly. I'm glad someone else on the other team is going for long shots. It just gives me another opportunity to get him. What a shot. That's a long shot. See, this map is so good for long shots. Get out of here. Fuck. See, a lot of times you get into these games and it's just going to be people sitting in and around like the same spots. You know, everyone finds their little, their spot that works and they, they stick to it. For me, it's B. Just makes these games really easy to read. Unless you're dumb and forget. It, you're little, when, unless you're like me and you're talking about exactly what the other team's going to do, but you're still like mindlessly playing. No, this other guy is so much better at getting long shots than me. Just as long as you don't push into the other, like the opponent's spawn, you're chilling. Like this guy's about to flip the fucking spawns. Yep, as I was saying, never want to flip the spawns. Don't be that guy. Don't get greedy. All you gotta do is stay back and enjoy your kills. People always want more. That's a long shot. Yeah, this is perfect for long shots, honestly. Just running back and forth. Look at that. It's going, just running suicides. And racking up kills. And then I've said before in guides and stuff that field mics don't work in hardcore. But if you're like, you, you got like some headphones on or something, you can hear the beep. They, they'll do like directional beeps of where people are at. And look, kill detected enemy, kill detected enemy. It's kind of cracked actually. But 25 and 10, that's easy. We got at least five long shots, I think. Nice streaks, look at this, play the game too. Go back and forth. This map's goaded. Honestly, I think face off probably is one of the best grinding modes. I'm gonna start adding that to the guides. Look at that, we got two long shot camos done that game after having like none. Yeah, we're at 11 out of 50 now and we're at like three or something when I started. We got a few of the detected. We just need to stun people more, I think. Point blank's gonna be a problem. Without domination, it's a little more tricky to try to figure out where people are at. Dang! That was a one-shot double kill. We collided him. Easy quad feed. Yeah, this, this game mode's cracked. As long as we don't overstep our boundaries like that fucker. We're chilling. Get the fuck out of my way. That's a long shot. This map's so good for long shots. Holy shit. Get the toes. 28 and 10. That's long shots for ARs too. I don't think we got any more point blanks because we were not close to anybody at all. Detected nada. Our long shots are coming along. Yubon again. We're going against a whole clan though. Don't care. Still going to get long shots. So I'm pretty sure I talked about this on the last Dark Matter episode, how I've been absolutely addicted to opening cards again. It's like, it's like I'm a kid again. You know, everyone knows, well, most of you guys know Critical, a giant YouTuber. He made divine packs where he's selling his, or he sold duplicates of his cards as packs. Oh, the Tomahawk. Let's go. The dude Gage, uh, you guys might know him, wet and soft. Uh, we play games with him a lot. We stream with him a lot. Actually got a hold of one and it's coming in, I think, tomorrow. Right now it is January 5th that I'm recording this. And his package is supposed to come in today. So if it comes in today, we're going to be doing an opening on my Twitch channel with the Divine pack. They're going to come over here. We're going we're gonna to record it with my little pack opening setup. And hopefully there's something fucking nice in there. I know... Critical's been opening some expensive ass packs. That's a long shot. Or if that pack doesn't come in uh, by tomorrow, I think we might just open my other Vivid Voltage booster box. So if you guys are into Pokemon card openings or just want to come hang out with us, we'll be doing that tomorrow. And hopefully it'll go up on the second channel. 
Uh, my last pack opening, I'm a little behind on putting it up on the second channel. Uh, it's a giant, giant recording. So it was like two and a half hours long and putting it into my editing program, it was lagging the shit out of it. And I have like a, uh, like a nice computer. So I think I might just have to take the Twitch VOD and upload that. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, right now the VOD's still over on my Twitch channel. But uh, it'll be on the second channel soon. Also, uh, I made a promise back when my channel had like 10,000 subs or something like that. That when we hit 50,000, I'd do a face reveal. So hopefully with the next couple weeks, I can get a setup nice enough to where it's like a uh, good enough quality so I can do a face cam. Like I don't want to add anything to the video if it's not like good enough quality. Like if it's not a feature to the video... Sorry, I'm uh, fucking gamer mode. Well, like I was saying, if it's if it's not adding something quality or something that people actually would like to see, like I could I could do it right now with like a 720 webcam and it'll just look like dog shit. But I, I if I want to do something, I want to do it good and I want to make sure like it's doesn't affect the quality of the video. So hopefully I can get something set up for that soon, and then maybe in a in a in a dark matter video, uh, you'll be seeing my face. Okay, 31 and 28. We did a little worse that game, but got a little, a little progress. Two more long shots that game. A little more progress on Flora. No point blank. We'll play one more game for this video. I don't think we're going to get the Milano gold this time unless we can pull off something crazy. But we'll use it again next video. For most of the feedback I got, you guys said you didn't care if I was getting the gun gold or not. You just wanted to see like gameplay with it. A lot of you guys said earlier levels, but I think for most of my guns, it's like almost max level. Level 50 to max already, so. I apologize, I can't show. I will I mean, I'll show it for the guns that are obviously already at that low level, but I apologize, I can't show me going all the way through the gun. But this way, you can kind of see me working through other camos besides, like, double kills, because it seems like that was always the last camo I had to get. So right now, uh, if you need help with SMG long shots, play some face-off, and we got really lucky, and we got U-Bond three times. Oh, eat the fucking tomahawk, bitch. Let's go. Quick long shot. Please keep peeking that. He peeked it and I wasn't ready. Let's go. They just keep walking right into it. Let's go. Give me these long shots. There we go. Quick pre-fires. Oh, he left. He was sick of it. He said, you know what? You gotta stop long shotting me. 24 and 10. Good last game. Got a lot of long shots in on that one. Okay, let's see where we're at. After a few games of hardcore face-off. 23 out of 25. Or 23 out of 50 total. 30 out of 70. 15 out of 75. So we got a little bit of ways to go with Milana. We'll come back to it in the next episode. So save your suggestions for that episode if you want to see me use another gun. Uh, as always, leave a like if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Uh, subscribe. You know, we, we hit 50k, but we're not done. We, we, we got to hit 100k. We need that plaque. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.